everyone, welcome back, hope you're well. So, today's job, cut to the chase, we're shearing today. Um, so we've come, gather them up. It's only the second attempt. First one, oh, we're shearing, man, went silage. No big issue, issue really. Sometimes we struggle to get folks to come shear, but this year it's now, what, we're just into August and we do the main lot. Um, there is, I reckon, about 120 to do. Um, we'll see. So we've just got to go and locate them all. A few here. I question if there's not someone that far bank that there shouldn't be. But um, what we'll do is we walk to Bosmet Drive, me and Dog, we can bring them round and bring them up to this top and then we'll get them in from there. Right, go do that. So everything's back in that's meant to be in anyway. Um, we're just on the opposite bank. Obviously that up there is the van. There's my dad. He's going to go over there. I'm going to take this group up. This year, for whatever reason, where it's been an over grassy time, what have you, the, um, they've sort of not really et off up here. There's, quite, there's still quite a lot of grass about. Like on that far side, really is a good, a good crop of grass still be had. Um, but let's see whether I might keep them up here for tupping then if that's the case and tup a quantity of them like well I said still got the I thought there was, I thought there was 80 ewes about 100, 120 lambs up here something like that mainly chiviots but obviously the um they haven't had it as well as I thought they were going to but anyway right we'll carry on pushing them up get them in pen so we've got them all in now. Uh, some good lambs amongst them, really. There's like a lot of these sort of Scotch mules off these Scotties and, and the Chiviots. I think that the ewe lambs of them mules will get sold and then the quantity of Chiviot ewe lambs will stay for further breeding lamb. But they've done well. And this, there's a nice grit to them. The, uh, this is the first time I've touched or been in with them since they were lambed. I've not done, done anything with them yet. I will get them in this next... Well, after we probably, probably not, not probably not now, but next week get them in and wear them all. But uh, but anyway, let's wait for the shearing and let's get him set up and doing. Eh?
that's them all done. The uh, done both got both groups done. Do it in about three hours and take long at all. It's about now about hundred altogether somewhere around there. The uh, you know the better now. It's a job less. And luckily this year is non sheared non with maggots, which is a good sign because normally you get doing them this late on, you get a few with maggots. But but now they've done uh, done a good job there really. But now we'll get this. Uh, Worthless stuff loaded up and we'll get back home, eh? So we've got, still got yesterday's wool in. Uh, I'll load up the other wool now and then we'll get it, uh, get it gone then, eh? This year, because we didn't take last year's because it was just the time we'd done it and what price they were paying, it was pointless, you know, and it weren't away, worth the diesel taking. I imagine this year's not much better, but, you know, got to be done, hasn't it? So we'll, uh, we'll chuck the other stuff in and we'll get going. All the wool loaded. Um, one obviously will take that this next day or so. In there, won't just trail now. In there, there's five. There's a ten bags. Look, there's ten bags in there. And the harsh fact of it is, is it's worth note. Like them ten bags will be, let's say, each, there's a couple of half bags, two half bags from. So let, let's say we're averaging about. Let's be optimistic and say 400 kilos. I won't come away with 400 pounds after that. There'll be nothing in there. We don't send ours to the wool board. We send it to an Irish firm. And I know some of you will say, Ooh, you should back the wool board. It's where the... That's, you know, I mean, we should all support the wool board and what have you. But no, is the answer to that. How they, I think how they pay is pointless. This This bit every now and again. I think it's a daft way of doing it. I mean, it's 50% this year, 50% next year. Like I say, I don't think it's right myself. And I say, I can't see the point in doing it. You get paid nothing nowhere. I know there'll be these big wool board fans here that'll be telling you about, oh, the meat's paying for the levies and all this, and they're advertising and they're getting the best deal for you. They're not, you know, let's be honest. They aren't, it's, it's a British firm supporting British farmers. They won't be giving you the best deal they can. But uh, but anyway, no need to get into that, is there? So, I reckon that's enough for one week there. I'll uh, carry on some of the jobs and be ready for next week, I suppose. They'll, um, but hopefully you've enjoyed it and all that. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. And, uh, Bring a friend along. We're almost at 500 subscribers now, so we're knocking on. And I shall see you all next Saturday at 6. Ciao.